Okay, folks, so here we see a CNC creating a hole for me. And all done. Boop. One more to go. Okay, y'all, so I went ahead and drew a light circle with a compass to prove the accuracy of the CNC machine as it travels around its path. As you can see, it's pretty much erasing that line that I drew with the compass. Pretty happy with that outcome. And here, if you look close, you can see the tabs I put in, and this proves that they hold that hockey puck in place strong enough so that I don't have to worry about a problem. Okay, y'all, so if some of you are paying attention, you'll notice that the frame for those cornhole boards is no longer underneath those pieces of plywood. I learned a hard lesson. I put those frames on there and slipped it in between the spindle on the CNC machine and the top of the table, and I didn't have enough room to remove the bits. So I had to disassemble those cornhole boards and start over. And so you can see there that the frames are not under them. But I got kind of fancy with those frames too the second time around. So continue to watch and you'll see what I did with those guys. I think this whole project should, should pop once we put it all together.
down so you don't wreck your finisher product. Put this on the heat. Put this on here, hopefully the right way. Put the screws into it, and we are good to go. Okay, folks, a lot of times when you make these things, they're not square. And I don't know if you can see that movement. I hope you can. But you can see how wide this is here. I've cut this plywood dead square. So what I do to correct this issue is on this end, I'll put these screws in first squaring across here and then I'll come back to the other side like this and I will take a screw and put it in the bottom across here like so if I can find it and get it started and then I will draw this over and I'm exaggerating that so that you might be able to see it a little better but now I'll flush this side up or at least make it even. If it's a little off, it feels pretty good. Put the screw down, and now you're square to that piece of plywood. And on we go. Okay folks, here you go, two completed ultra custom cornhole boards for my nephew. I hope he's happy with them when he gets them. We'll do a little walk around here so you can get an idea of what we're looking at. That is a picture of his dog, believe it or not. No, that is not a bear. <laughs> She looks like a bear. She's a big girl. And her name is Cuddles. And I hope I did her and her dad proud. Alright y'all. There you have it. Two finished cornhole boards. I hope you like this series of builds on these things. Um, if you got something out of the video, do you like the video, give me a like. Give me a comment. I always enjoy the comments. Give me a share. And as always, We'll catch you on the next one.